Well, good morning. This is just a quick video. Donald Trump has attacked Huawei again. And like I've said, this was probably one of the worst attacks he could do. In a capitalistic country where we believe that capitalism, the ability to become a big person with nothing at all, just a dream and idea, we are with a government that is known as democracy, where people vote and elect people. And capitalism combined with democracy enable us to have a free country, quote unquote. However, Donald Trump, Donald Jonathan Trump, has chosen to attack Huawei. And he has chosen to create a presidential order that enables him to limit Huawei's ability to access the internet and to use Google which shows that Google basically works for the United States of America. So think of that. If the president can control Google, what's stopping the president or the United States from using Google to look at all your files? What's stopping this capitalistic country where democracy is bought and paid for, where the electoral process allows for a president to spend $100 million to get a job that pays $600,000 a year? What tells you that they're not more worried about losing their foothold on listening to you through Google than they are about Huawei itself. The truth of the matter is, is that China already has a Google and they had it in production a couple of years ago and they decided not to go with it because they didn't want to do copyright infringement. And the person that created it was very intelligent and it was a very good replica of it. However, if the United States persists and proceeds in its pattern of attack against China, they will be forced to produce all of their own products, which means that they will be forced to produce their own Google. And then all they have to do is prove that Google, which has been proven by Fox News, listens to you. They do. Everything you do through Google goes back to your <clears throat> accounts, your facial message recognition, your Gmail, your Amazon account, your Facebook, your Twitter, everything. So if you get an email from your mom that says that she's looking for a new kitchen mixer, then Amazon suddenly starts bothering you about buying a new kitchen mixer. And then suddenly eBay comes along and gives you this special deal. And it's all Google Analytics. Yet it's not Google itself. Google no longer has a face. It is an intelligent design created in order to harness all of your data, which is no different than what the United States is accusing Huawei of doing. The problem with it becomes that the United States loses its foothold. The United States has used its ability to attack the world, and it needs to be recognized. This is good. It is time to recognize that the United States has a president who has seven heads, who has lashed out against all of the people of the world. And you'll each have to come together with your crown of thorns and place it upon his head and then cut those heads off from his body. Severing them will only allow you to have your personal freedom. This world is not owned by the President of the United States. Democracy is a vote the right to choose. Capitalism is the ability to control your own money. The world is designed to have its own freedoms, not a capitalistic democracy of socialistic humans that control everyone else. It is a terrible portrayal of the truth behind our founding fathers that stole this land. God bless God.